Hate to break it to anyone if you're from Oklahoma, but you can get AIDS there too. It's Oklahoma, not Oz. <laughs> I will admit though, whenever I hear about something like the World Trade Center bombing or the federal building in Oklahoma blowing up or people getting shot to death while working at the post office, all I can think to myself is, man, I am so fucking glad I don't have a job. <laughs> I think the chances of me dying in a terrorist attack in my living room at three in the afternoon, <laughs> jerking off to the Charles Perez show, is, uh, pretty unlikely. You know, I was watching, I was watching uh, the Charles Perez show, and, uh, and is it me or do the producers of these talk shows have hearts of stone? They're just evil. They're sadists. There was a woman on the show. That the topic was was reuniting lost loved ones. There was a woman on the show hadn't seen her father in 30 years. Charles Perez says to her, he's like, if you could look out into the world and say anything to your father, if he's out there somewhere, what would you say? She breaks down crying. She's like, I would just want to say to Daddy, I love you, even though I don't know you, and I just wish I knew where you were. Two minutes later, they bring her father out. <laughs> now, I know that's beautiful and everything, but she's crying her eyes out on national TV. She's like, Daddy, I haven't seen you in 30 years. I just wish I knew where you were. And the producers are like, <laughs> <laughs> He's in the green room. <laughs> we could have reunited you with your long lost papa a month ago. We just had better show ideas. <laughs> Tell you the truth, we're a little surprised you didn't run into each other yesterday. You're staying at the same hotel. <laughs> oh man, I know, it's sick, but you know what? Nothing affects me anymore. I've lived in New York now for five years. Nothing, I'm not affected by anything. The other night I woke up at three o'clock in the morning to gunshots. Immediately I jump out of bed, open the window, I'm like, hey! <laughs> It's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Use a silencer. <laughs> Kinda loud, could you stab the guy? <laughs> I have to get up early tomorrow and hate people. So much hate in this city, so much racism. You know what I'm tired of? I'm tired of the whole black-white issue. <coughs> of people telling me that I'm personally responsible for things that happened over 200 years ago. I understand how people feel, but the other day this guy verbally attacked me on the street, called me a white devil, told me my grandparents were rapist slave masters. First of all, my grandparents are from Europe. They were nowhere near this country 200 years ago, never owned a slave. I'm 27. I haven't done a thing to anyone. If you have a problem, take it out on someone who was around back then. Yeah. Like George Burns, <laughs> Bob Hope. Beat the shit out of Burns and Hope. Get me out of the mix. Right. So much hate in the world. I, I was talking to a guy the other day from England. Do you know, do you know English people still hate Americans? Because of what happened in 1875. Isn't that ridiculous? Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? 1875. That was the year Mr. Thomas moved his muffin shop. <laughs> What's going on? I mean, you watch, I'm sure, you know, everyone's watching the OJ case, this whole thing with Furman, you know, which is like insane. Mark Furman, all right, I, I get it, he's a racist. I believe he's a racist. I'll even believe he might have planted a bloody glove. I just have a real hard time believing he planted two dead white people. <laughs> you know, the jury's gonna have to really sell me on that, or the defense, or the, you know, it's, it's insane, but I'll tell you, I was in LA recently, and I think because of the whole Furman thing, and the Rodney King incident of a couple years ago, a lot of cops in LA must now be trying to show they're not all bad. Because I'm driving, I get pulled over, a cop walks over to the car, he's like, do you know I stopped you? I said, it's Los Angeles, you wanted to beat the crap out of me? <laughs> He said, no, I pulled you over because I thought you might like this poem. <laughs> he read me a poem, gave me some flowers, and now we're going out. Uh, I don't know. Nuts, man. So I'm 27, didn't go to college, didn't do very well in high school. I, uh, I have a cousin who goes to high school in the Bronx here in New York. One time he wanted me to help with this math homework. Toughest word problem I've ever seen in my life. He's like, Julio sells crack. <laughs> he sells one vial to Manuel and two vials to Esperanzo. Esperanzo returns one of the vials claiming it was whack. <laughs> How many bullets did they find in Esperanzo's head? <laughs> yeah. I did that 
joke the other night in this 